plus course um, troubleshooting steps in the network plus troubleshooting model there are seven steps you've got to have dialed in one identify the problem two establish a theory of probable cause three test this test the theory to determine cause four establish a plan of action to resolve the problem and identify potential effects five implement the solution or escalate as necessary six verify full system functionality and if applicable implement preventative measures seven document findings actions and outcomes step one before you can solve the problem you've got to figure out what it is right again asking the right questions can get you far along this path and really help you clarify the situation identifying the problem involves steps that together constitute information gathering um, gather information by questioning users a good way to start is by asking the user the following questions exactly which part of the internet can you access a particular website a certain address a type of website none of it at all can you use your web browser is it possible to duplicate the problem if the hitch has to do with an internal server to the company ask the user if they can ping the server and talk to them through doing that ask the user to try and try to telnet or ftp to an internal server to verify local network connectivity if they don't know how talk them through it if there are multiple complaints of problems occurring look for the big stuff first then isolate and approach each problem individually here's another really common trouble ticket that just happens to build on the last scenario now let's say you've got a user who's called you at the help desk by asking the previous questions you found out that this user can't access the corporate internet or get out to any sites on the internet you also established that the user can use their web browser to access the corporate ftp site but only by ip address not by the ftp server name this information tells you two important things that you can rule out the host and the web browser application as the source of the problem and that the physical network is working uh, duplicate the problem if possible when a user reports an issue you should attempt to duplicate the issue when this is possible it will aid in discovering the problem when you cannot duplicate the issue your challenge becomes harder because you are dealing with an intermittent problem these issues are difficult to solve because they don't happen const consistently uh, determine if anything has changed moving right along if you can reproduce the problem your next step is to verify what has changed and how drawing on your knowledge of networking you ask yourself and your user questions like these were you able to do this if not then maybe it just isn't something the hardware or software is designed to do you should then tell the user exactly that as well as advise that they may need additional hardware or software to pull off what they're trying to do if so when did you become unable to do it if once upon a time the computer was able to do the job and then suddenly could not whatever conditions surrounded and were involved in this turn of events became extremely important you have a really good shot at under of unearthing the root of the problem if you know what happened right before things changed just know that there's a high level of, pr of probability that the cause of the problem is directly related to the conditions surrounding the change when it occurred has anything changed since the last time you could do this this question can lead you right to the problem's cause 
seriously the thing that changed right before the problem began happening is almost always what causes it it's so important that if you ask it and your user tells you nothing changed it just happened you should rephrase the question and say something like did anyone add anything to your computer or are you doing anything differently from the way you usually do it or any error messages displayed these are basically arrows that point directly at the problem's origin. Error messages are designed by programmers for the purpose of pointing them to exactly what it is and sorry that it isn't working properly in the computer systems. Sometimes error messages are crystal clear like this full or they can be um, critically annoying little puzzles in and of themselves if you pulled the short straw and you got the latter variety it's probably best to hit the software or hardware vendors support site where you can usually score a translation from these programmes in which the error message is written into plain English so you can get back to solving the riddle are other people experiencing this problem you've got to ask this one question sorry you've got to ask this one because the answer will definitely help you target the cause of the problem first try to duplicate the problem from your own workstation because if you can't it's likely that the issue is related to only one user or group of users possibility their workstations a solid hint that this is a case is if you're being inundated with calls from a bunch of people from the same work group is it is the problem always the same it's good to know that when problems crop up they're almost always the same each time they occur but their symptoms can change slightly as the condition surrounding them change a related question would be if you do X does the problem get better or worse for example ask a user if you use a different file does the problem get better or worse if the symptoms lighten up it's an indication that the problem is related to the original file that's been used it's important to try to duplicate the problem to find the source of the issue as soon as possible and when watching the user attempt to reproduce the problem you note that they're typing the address correctly plus you've got an error message that leads you to believe that the problem has something to do with domain name service DNS lookups on the user's host time to dig deeper so i want you here today for this video if you like listening please consider like sharing and subscribing thank you